Oh my gosh, Jesse's got something awesome. Oh my god. Jesse's got we just barely saw its tail come out. Do you see him? Can you get him? Yeah, he's like him? way down there. Oh my in there. gosh, do you see that guys? What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cole. And I'm Jay. And if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. And if you are a long time supporter, well, thanks for sticking with <laughs> us. <laughs> if you guys know anything about the two of us, you know that we are both equally passionate about wildlife and filming our wildlife encounters and trying to get these animals up close and personal for the camera so you guys can see them for yourselves. Because I know there's a lot of really cool, interesting creatures out there that some of you guys may not know a lot about or maybe you just don't have the opportunity to see them. So or maybe you've never even seen them before. Yeah, right. So that's one of our goals of having this YouTube channel is to bring this wildlife up close for you guys to check out. So what Jay and I are going to be doing today is we are going to be uh, walking along the edges of the bank out here on the lake and we're going to be removing some grass mats. Okay, there's a lot of invasive vegetation out here including these grass mats that we don't really want, um, you know, drifting into our bank and some that have already drifted into our bank and they're starting to really accumulate. But the fun part about removing these grass mats is that once we get them on the bank, we're able to go through them and find all sorts of animals inside of them. We did this last year and we found a bunch of crazy creatures and so we are just hoping that today we will find more. Also, so while we're going through these grass mats, we're gonna find a lot of um, little prey items, little crawfish, little small minnows, and we're gonna put those in a bucket and we're gonna take them inside and feed some of our critters we have in the house. It's a happy feeding day for those guys. <laughs> So let's start probing the bank, let's get the rake out, and let's start pulling these grass mats up and see what we can find. Let's find something cool! Let's do it! <laughs> okay, Jade's going out there to pull this grass mat a little bit closer to us. Like a boss. Go ahead and rake that up, yeah. Oh, it's a crawfish! Look at that big old crawfish! Oh, Looky yeah. there, that's a big one. Ah, oh, he's pinching me. <laughs> there we go, that's a good start right there. Woo, that's a big old crawfish. I think it's the biggest one we've raked up so far. Nice. Yeah, let's put him in the bucket. There's a tadpole, tadpole. Tadpole. That tadpole, you got it? Let's see it. Oh, cool. That looks, to, that looks to be a bullfrog tadpole. Might be a green frog, but I think it's a bullfrog tadpole. Not very big. But awesome, let's throw them in the bucket. Quick start, we got a crawfish and a tadpole. Whoop. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, let's see what we got in here. This really wasn't as thick as we thought it was going to be. Usually the thicker stuff holds more things in it. Oh, there's a, oh, that's kind of scary. Oh. Gotta, okay, got this little bug right here. So, this little guy, I'm not sure how you can, if you can see that. Can you see him? Kinda. He's kinda dangerous. This is a uh, giant water bug. This is the smaller variety. Um, it's, a, it's in the family Bellis stomatidae. And it's that, it's that bug that they call the toe biter. It's just the smaller version of it. So this guy could pack a really painful punch. There's a bunch of these in here. And uh, I, have a, I have a little salamander and a fish and they like to eat them. So I'm gonna throw them in the bucket. Ooh, just, just do not want to get bit by those guys <laughs> at all. The only things in these in these uh, grass mitts that kind of keep me on my toes. Let's see. Usually, once you rake it up, little dudes start just crawling around and expose themselves. There's a little minnow. Let me throw him back in the water. Is he in there? Oh, he is. Look at there. It's a really nice snail. I love finding snails. What is that? Is that a crawfish? Yep. Oh, look at there. A little snail and a crawfish. There's so much life in these little grass mats, which is which is why like the fish like to hang out here. All the predator fish they'll get beneath, underneath these grass mats, and they can just kind of just snoop around and eventually find what they're wanting to eat. I saw something moving around right here. It's kind of weird. Oh, cool! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, this is another kind of dangerous insect. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's two of them. I got him. <laughs> Okay, these are really cool. I'm gonna let one just rest in my hand. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. Put one in here. Look at this. That is called a water scorpion. They get the name like water scorpion from this little, this little ovipositor type structure coming out of its rear end. Had these two little pinchers. They're not really pinchers, but it just kind of looks like an aquatic version of a scorpion. They're really, really cool. 
We'll put it in the bucket also with that other one just so we can keep a tab and everything we find today. So far, all we're finding is like smalls. I say smalls, we're finding things that are, you know, they're pretty cool, but they're not, they're not super epic yet. There we go. <laughs> so look at this dude. This is another guy I don't really want to get bit by, but I'm not too afraid of him. This is a predaceous diving beetle. Really cool. And uh, these guys, they swim like little, like little beetle, like little angels, like little water angels in the water. They're so cool. I don't know how to really describe that other than like a little water angel. But these are pretty big beetles. They're pretty cool. We're gonna put them in the bucket. And then when we go inside, we'll put them in the tank. We'll let you guys see how they swim in the water. It's really cool. We got a couple more exciting little creatures inside the bucket that I'm gonna pull out and show you guys real quick. Here we go. Come here, buddy. All right. Got a little fish. Check this guy out. You can't expect to pull a bunch of grass mats without pulling up some sorts of little fish. This is actually a golden top minnow. They get the name golden just from those little gold spots on their scales. I'm trying to get him turned sideways so you can see that. He's kind of flopping around. But anyways, that's a golden top minnow. They also get the name top minnow because they spend the majority of their lifetime living in the top level of the water column and uh, they feed on small little plankton and mosquito larvae and stuff up there. Really cool little fish. Super pretty. In the, in the spawning season, they get these really pretty blue and red dots on them. Super cool. Okay, I got another little dude in here. Some of you guys might not like this one. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool. That is actually a little leech. I'm not sure what species it is. There's tons of different leeches out here. And I'm not sure if this is a full grown adult or not, but that is definitely a leech. They have two little suctions on both ends of their bodies. And they just kind of flail around like that. Make awesome fish bait. I'm gonna take them inside and feed my siren. He loves to eat these little leeches. But they're so cool how far they can stretch out. Watch him move, look at that. Woo! Like a real life slinky. Oh, it's cool. Can we get him back in the bucket? So we've been going through a bunch of grass mats. We pulled a bunch of them out. We found the same sort of things we've already shown you. Some minnows, some little crawfish, some little insects. But I just found our best find of the day so far. And I actually don't think that it came out of the grass mat. I think it was just on the bank. Check this little dude out, guys. This is a central newt, and it's a juvenile. This newt right now is actually what we call in its eft stage, and that is a terrestrial juvenile stage. Um, when they're babies, you know, when they first hatch the egg, they're a little tiny larva, and they live in the water. And then once they reach to a little bit of a more substantial size, they come up on land and uh, hang out here on land as juveniles. Once they reach maturity, they actually go back into the water as adults, and they carry out the rest of their life in the water. They get about that big, but what's really cool about these newts, as you can see on its back, it's just this kind of this dark brown color of these little orange spots. But watch as I flip them over. You ready for this, guys? These guys are really incredible. You see that, guys? He's kind of upset about it, but look at that. Their bellies are this really vibrant orange color, those little black spots. Super cool. Super bright. These newts are one of my favorite species to find out here in the grass mats. I'm hoping that we'll find an adult. That'd be really, really cool. But the little juvenile eft, Cool enough also. So I'm gonna put him back up here on the land because they don't belong in the water. I'm gonna put him by this little tree. Let him do his little newt things. And we're gonna get back to searching for the adult. <laughs> there you go, Jay. Use those muscles. <laughs> That's a good looking mat right there. We might find something in that one once we get it up on the land. This is a workout! <laughs> Do it for the critters. <laughs> That's a big pile of grass. <laughs> Surely there's something in there. Surely! Surely there's something in there. I didn't see anything slither out, so... If there's something that can slither, it's probably still in there. Snake. Jay got a snake. Jay got a snake. I got a snake. No way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude, dude. It's a. Dude, it's a swamp snake. What? It's a swamp snake. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Jay, look. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's a swamp snake. Wow. 
What an amazing snake. Wow, these, these snakes are really hard to come by. They're really secretive in nature. They really like to hang out in this really dense vegetation. That's awesome. This is one of the snakes we were, we were hoping to find. And uh, we literally only find a handful of them every year. The last one we actually found was last time that Jay was out here scooping grass up last spring. So it's been a year almost. Wow. wow. And you can tell, look at this guys. This is a different type of water snake. This, this particular type of water snake is not nearly as aggressive as the ones you're typical to seeing on our channel. They're very, very docile, especially after you handle them a little bit. And these tiny little bitty eyes. They're super glossy too. They're really, really pretty. And what's really cool about this particular snake is that they are crawfish specialists, okay? These guys love to hunt crawfish. And you saw that we found quite a few crawfish already in this grass mat. So I'm sure he was out here just hanging out looking for a crawfish to eat. I think they eat other sorts of uh, small aquatic uh, prey items like little fish and tadpoles, but crawfish are definitely their favorites. Wow, that's so cool. So how you can differentiate this particular crayfish snake or this, this swamp snake from the other uh, crayfish snakes out there like the Graham's crayfish snake or the queen snake is you can look at their belly, look at their belly pattern. Isn't that incredible? Look, they have two rows of those dark half moon shapes on their belly. Completely unique to this particular species of snake. Oh, it's so cool, man. One of my favorites, look how beautiful that little snake is. These guys get a little bit larger than this. I think they get up to about three feet long. So this one's a little bit more of a smaller size snake. He's probably, how long is he, like 18 inches? Let's stretch him out a little bit. Yeah, he's probably an 18 inch snake. And once again, I can't stress enough, you know, how calm and carefree he is in my hands right now. He's simply just flickering his tongue out a little bit, tasting the air, tasting his surroundings, getting a sense of his environment. I'm handling him pretty gently. My hands are wet, so. I think he's comfortable. He hasn't even, oh, he did, didn't he? Look at that. You see my finger? Ugh. So that is a defense strategy that these water snakes and a lot of snakes have. It's called musking. So by emitting this really foul, yeah, it's foul. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> foul smelling musk, they do that to deter predators and wants to get a hold of them from eating them because no, nothing wants to eat a snake that tastes like poop. Wow. Wow, and he was just right there. Look at that, all in this really thick grass. Perfect hiding spot for him to ambush prey. Whew. I'm so excited. Jay's so, super excited. And uh, I think that instead of putting him right back into the grass mat, we're actually going to hold on to this snake just for a little bit longer. I think we're going to shoot another episode for the channel just featuring this snake just because of how hard they are to find. I mean, this is literally the second one we found in a year's time. Super incredible. Beautiful snake. Jack that we found it. We're not going to conclude our search with this snake. We're going to keep digging through grass mats. Let's see if we can find something else cool. Oh my gosh, Jesse's got something awesome. Oh my Jesse's gosh. got, we just barely saw its tail come out. Do you see him? You, can you get him? Yeah, he's like way down in there. Oh my there. gosh, do you see that, guys? Oh my gosh. Hang on, okay, I got him good now. You got him? Guys, this is the coolest snake you could ever find in a grass mat. Oh, I see the oh red. Oh my gosh. I see the red. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. Come oh. on, buddy, come on. Be easy with him. Be easy with him. Here, let's get the grass off. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you guys, this is my favorite snake. This is, yours is your favorite snake too, isn't it? This is my favorite snake, guys. That is the western mud snake. I cannot believe that we just found a mud snake. These are the coolest snakes. Oh my word, look at him. He's so beautiful. I cannot believe we just found a mud snake, Jay. <laughs> That's so cool. He's big. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. I drug up this giant grass mat and my goodness, it paid off. Yeah, we just barely saw his <laughs> tail like trickle back up into the grass yeah. mat. Like he was just going in there. We didn't have the camera. I ran over and grabbed it really quick before he got away. And as soon as I saw this coloring, I knew exactly what it was. That was yes. freaking out. So we were like halfway expecting to find like what this guy eats, which is a siren. We've been finding sirens when we scooping this up, but we did not expect to find a mud snake today. Oh my god! It's pretty early in the year to be finding mud snakes. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, Jay. Oh my Guys, gosh, let's get some close-ups of it. Wow. Okay, look at this. So they got these super smooth and glossy scales, and then when you flip them over, look at the coloration of that belly. That's Black super... and red checkerboarded pattern. That's brilliant. Woo. It's beautiful. These guys live such a secretive lifestyle. They're, it's a really rare snake to find. <laughs> They're not rare in numbers. They're pretty common, but you just hardly ever stumble upon these guys because they just they live a totally aquatic lifestyle in this really heavy vegetation. They're specialist feeders on these giant salamanders, the sirens and the infumas. 
and they're just so incredible. That's and so beautiful. And they're also really chill. Like they're not aggressive snakes. Yes, yeah. They're, they're not going to bite you. Mm -mm. I mean, they. I guess they could bite you, but. We've never been bit by one. No. We've handled quite a few. We don't find very many of these either. So we found two rare snakes today. <laughs> That's crazy. And how many mud snakes do we find a year? Like two? <laughs> yeah. Maybe three on a good year. <laughs> I cannot believe I cannot believe that you found the swamp snake and then I found this snake. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Guys, we're freaking out, but this is so insane. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to keep ourselves together. I know this is getting kind of wild and crazy, but I, don't, I just can't, we can't contain ourselves. We don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do the same thing we did with that swamp snake. We're gonna. I guess we got to. We got to. We got to make a separate video. We have to you. make a separate video. We want to give you guys a good look at this snake right now, but be on the lookout for a future video for the snake. It's gonna be so cool. It does not get any better than this. Like this is the best of the best, the holy grail for herpers. These snakes are so hard to find and we're always in their environment. We're looking for them, but honestly, we can really only find like a couple a year. So to say that we are stoked would be an understatement. Gosh, I'm so excited right now. I want to get my hands on it. I, mean, I, I barely even touched it yet. I'm freaking out. Jessica's being stingy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Chill. this is the best day ever. It is, it is. We did not expect, I can't even say that enough, we did not expect to find these two snakes today at all. We were just planning on catching like some small invertebrates, some small fish, and put them in the bucket and take them inside and feeding our animals. But that plan is gonna have to be put on hold for like the rest of the day, just because we have these two amazing <laughs> rare species of snakes. The Gulf Swamp Snake, the Western Mud Snake, two of the most secretive and hard to find snakes in our area. A two that we hardly ever get to find. It's a great day to be alive today. I'm not even <laughs> playing. But anyways, um, we're done. We're gonna we're gonna push that grass mat back into the lake. I think so. Maybe some more things could get into it. And we can pull it back out and see what we can find next time. But we're not gonna find anything better than this today. Not today. <laughs> we're we're just done. We we're gonna have. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step back. We're gonna regain our composure and we're gonna make two separate videos I think today one featuring the Gulf Swamp Snake one featuring the Western Mud Snake They're gonna be awesome be on the lookout for those uploads on our channel Make sure you have your post notifications hits when we upload those videos because they're going to be epic Okay, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. We had a great time filming it. Obviously. It's a great day uh, <laughs> What else do we do? What do we do? How do, how do we do our outros? I don't even remember. <laughs> We're Colin J. We're Colin J. <laughs> okay. We're, We're Colin J. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out, guys.